Harvey Wan, I'm Mark Eisenthal with you on this Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Now we're back to Monday. We're off to the races all over again. And the weather, well, it's looking a little bit more interesting. Still the weather pattern all over the place. We're still... Uh, dealing with what we call a stratospheric warming, which is still yet to be realized how this is going to play out. Some interesting things. A lot of players in the field. We talked a little bit about this when we were on with Morgan White on WBZ Radio Saturday night. We just we never have enough time. Anyway, we have time here, so let's do it. First of all, with the forecast today being brought to you by Cannon Mountains. See them online at CannonMT.com. For you skiers, yes, I know skiing hasn't been great, but you're going to get a lot of snow in ski country over the next 48 hours. Looking great there. Weather headline. Here we go. We have a weak weather event coming into southern New England very late tonight tomorrow morning. I don't think it does much tonight. There could be a little bit of very light snow uh, in Boston by dawn, quickly going to rain showers, and then it just peters out to rain showers. Now, there's going to be a snowstorm in northern New England tomorrow night and Wednesday till about midday. There could be well over six inches of snow in ski country. Then the cold starts on Wednesday. We're watching a weekend storm. Once again, the models don't agree. At the end of this broadcast, I'll show you a couple of maps. But for today, we're mapping out the fact that it's partly sunny, windy, and cold. It'll be 26 to 32 northwest winds, 20 to 35 miles an hour wind chills in the lower teens, but the winds will die down this afternoon. Clouding up overnight. Could there period be a period of very light snow uh, in the pre-dawn hours going to rain showers? Yes. Would I be surprised if we see no snow in Boston? No. Temperatures rising to near 40 by tomorrow morning, certainly along the coast. Now, here's the five-day forecast starting with tomorrow. A lot of clouds. There'll be a few showers around. It'll be in the 40s. Steady rain is possible in Boston tomorrow night. That might change to a snow squall Wednesday morning. We'll wait and see. Starting off near 40 Wednesday, temperatures falling back to near freezing during the afternoon with a strong northwest wind. And on Thursday, windy and cold near freezing. Friday, variable clouds, more cold, staying below freezing. Partly sunny, cold on Saturday. Now, I want to jump ahead. This is the European model. Latest that I've seen. This is for Sunday afternoon around 1 o'clock. Shows just a weak storm moving well south of New England. Cold, high pressure off to our north. So the big playoff game in Foxborough would get off without a hitch. Now I want to just warn you that in theory, the European model is the superior model with superior physics. But just for laughs and giggles, let me show you the latest GFS model. Bang! They give us a blizzard Sunday evening with a gale center centered southeast of Nantucket. They have over a foot and a half of snow in Boston by Monday morning. They're the only model going forward right now. Again, I'm just telling you that from what I know and what I've experienced, the European is the superior model. But I'll also throw this into you one more time. The atmosphere is going through an enormous change with that stratospheric warming. Lots of interesting things online about it. Google stratospheric warming. And also, uh, Dr. Judah Cohen, really smart guy who works for a private weather service called AER, does a great weather blog that he puts out on Monday. It'll be interesting to see what he says, too. These are the real smart guys with PhDs. I, you know, it's just amazing stuff. I'm just trying to forecast the weather here, you know? It's just, what do I know? Anyway, that's what I know. I just told you. So... Oh, you're always so self-effacing, Mark. Have a wonderful Monday, everybody. Tommy James, you too.